Hey guys, it's Mana here, and I'm going to attempt to play Finger Bones. I have no idea what this is. Finger Bones, a psychological horror game by David Szymanski. Sorry if I butchered your last name, sir. Finger Bones is intended to be completed in a single sitting, and there is no save function. It is suggested that you set aside about half an hour to complete it. Okay. To exit, visit the door you started at. Use WASD to move and the left mouse button to interact with the environment. Press escape to toggle the screen. Press I to invert the mouse. Okay. So. Oh, hello door. Okay. Let's go less sense receive. Okay, that's a little better. So, creepy environment. Okay. Can't do anything with that door. What is this? I don't know what I'm... Is it a button? I wonder if there's... I, I don't know what I'm doing, so... Um... Okay. It's my weekend to get Kate, but I'm really not in the mood. I distracted her while with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't resist my, myself in reading. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help. Because I am not depressed, I am enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Okay. Guess I can't interact with that. Books. Can I interact with books? No. I s it would appear that the white dot gets bigger when there's something you can interact with. Paper. It appears to be a page from a manuscript. Pop mortality is too reliant on emotions and not reliant enough on rational thought. If mortality must be determined, and I maintain that it is a farce, I should not be determined by feeling. It should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The action of a natural creature are natural and thus moral unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immoral. Okay. Can I open this drawer? No. Can I sit in this chair? No. Well, can't blame me for trying. I can't seem to interact with anything other than those papers. Is there... What's that? Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's a flashlight. Well, thank you. So I can now see in the dark. What's this? This is a box. Oh, there's a paper over here. Cool. I don't know why I'd use my granddaughter, my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy, I suppose, she's like her mother, a delicate, fragile vision of her mother. Damn her. Okay, so we're playing as the dad? Or are we playing as the mom? I'm so confused, I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to walk under these beams so I can see, though. Okay, there is a button here. hell did I just do? Oh, I turned on something. I was expecting, like, a chainsaw to come out at me. Oh, what's the daughter's name? Shit. Katie. Awesome. You think I remember that? That's my cousin, one of my cousin's names. I have a lot of cousins. Okay, what did I do? Did I open something? Did I open this door? I did! Yay. I'm scared. What 
the hell did I do? It finally happened. The whole world is in chaos of thunder and screams, and when the ashes settle, they will all be wild animals again. I'm ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days, and she's probably dead for all I know, or care. But Katie was here when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran into the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from the irrational rules and inane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. <laughs> Okay, so, is there anything else down here? Oh, look, another paper. I boxed up everything that isn't practical and useful. I burned all the books that weren't for scientific edification. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just pile them up near the hatch. The blood will probably ruin them anyway. Huh? Anything else over here? No? Blood will probably ruin them anyway. Nope, still can't go in there. Do I have to go upstairs then? God, this is a creepy game! Oh, it's so hard to get back up these stairs. God, that scared me. Did I read this one? When I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt that same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. Okay, so clearly I missed things, and I need to find things. There's something over here. It was shiny. It was a pencil. I've read that one already. I can't jump. Oh! There we go. The tool room has been the tool room has been her name for years now, and I can't bring myself to change it. The tool room? Oh, I have to go back up to the keyboard. Right? I don't know if that's right. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures and we're barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. We needed more candles in case the generator goes out again. And it helps break up the monotony. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. God, that's creepy as fuck! There are things I've wanted to do for years, desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman, and now I realize there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked up anymore. Oh god, you raped your daughter, didn't you? Oh, you sick and disgusting man. Do I need that? No? Okay. Is there anything else over here? There's a door. And there's this over here. I changed the storage room code to something I can easily remember. N N Y. The rest of the word is missing. Lynn, more than likely. Or no, N N Y. No, that's that's wrong. Annie. Hmm. 
Did I miss anything else in there? Did I get everything? I think I got everything that I could get. name that would be. So far they've all been names. God damn that generator. Nope, didn't beep. What would that word be? Did I see it somewhere already? What could that possibly be? N N Y. What? My first thought was that it was Lynn, but then I seen that it was N N Y, which is backwards to Lynn. Are you fucking kidding me? Did he really make it? Motherfucker, yes! Oh, that took some thinking. That sounds wonderful. Can we not do that? That'd be great. Child, if you're in here, I am so sorry. I am a bag of DNA and I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demand reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity served as a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and to protect their genes, dreams, loves, opinions. Dreams, loves, opinions, desires, beauty, innocence, figments of our collective primordial Im imagination, fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synapses for a pointless moment in time. They used to serve purpose, but now they are needless confusion. And here I am, the last man on earth for all I know, ready to be freed from them. Yeah, I had to add some flair to that. Whoa, I went backwards. I wanted to go forwards. Paper. Button. Button? What do button do? Did button open door? I believe button opened door. Button opened this door? No, button did not open that door. What did button do? Okay, so I pressed the button. I don't know what button did, but button did something. Button, however, did not open this like I had expected it to. Button did something. But what do button do? This is a lot of work. Oh! Did button open this? Button opened this. The cellar is freedom. The password is freedom? going to assume that it is. Ah! This is interesting. Try to press E to interact. I'm an idiot. creepy at all. That's a body over there, isn't it? There's only enough food for one, so she's going to die anyway. And I'm free now. Freedom. And it took the end of all humanity for me to find freedom. Oh, I'm about to die horribly, aren't I? I thought I saw something. It seems to have been torn from a diary. 
She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I throw her body into the woods, her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts. My testaments to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in the safe upstairs. I am content in the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. You, sir, are fucked up. The father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one last flicker, the flashlight died and he was left in the pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her, even now. It was peaceful here in the cellar. It was free here in the cellar. That was a lot of fun. The The only thing that tripped me up was uh, Lynn backwards, that password. Like, I was sitting there thinking about it, because I, I automatically thought it was Lynn right off the bat. But then I realized it was NNY, and I was like, oh, it can't be Lynn, it can't be Lynn. It has to be something else. So I'm going through reading, I went through and read everything all over again, looking for what, a word that had NNY in it. So, yeah, I'm going to be cutting a big chunk of me wandering around out because I've been recording for, you know, 45 minutes or so. So, I'm logging off now. Remember to do something nice for a stranger today. You may just save a life. And in case I didn't say it, it is a great game. That was, I, I, it was painfully slow, but it was good. So, in case I didn't say that, need to put that out there. Bye!